Welcome back to our lecture on properties of uh, AB materials. This is lecture number three. We are still in the second week of the course in this main topic of physical characteristics. We will first deal with the size of uh, AB materials. The size is foremost an important quantity as an input parameter in agricultural machines. Uh, consider an agricultural process F that is a function of parameters A, B, C, D, and others. Uh, each will have a contributory factor uh, to process F via the coefficients B1, B2, B3 up to Bn. The individual parameters have been assigned variables, uh, which should be first measured before they can even be measured of their influence in the process F. For size, we use the uh, we use distance measuring tools such as the caliper shown. The use of a caliper is for measuring the projected dimension of a material. Uh, the projected area method is used to uh, measure the depth or thickness of a material. Uh, for the ellipsoid shown, three diameters, okay, three, namely the major, intermediate, and minor diameters are used. The longest dimension of the maximum projected area is the major diameter. The minor diameter is the shortest dimension of the minimum projected area, while the intermediate is in between the two. The schematic diagram of the measurements is provided for reference. Uh, there is a natural variability in AB materials and the good thing is that it follows a certain uh, distribution. The distribution can follow the normal or Gaussian uh, distribution as shown. This is a frequency plot that follows the probability of a certain measurement of a parameter such as those of the size of AB materials. Uh, the values in the curve will have a mean denoted by x bar. Uh, the deviation identifies the value by which a random item in the set of measurements if selected, okay, it will vary to the mean and is denoted by sigma. The y-coordinate is the probability of the uh, or, or the relative frequency at which a certain value can occur. Uh, the division is similarly uh, having the same coordinates indicative of their probability. Uh, the, fre the frequencies are computed using the formulae given 1 over uh, the quantity sigma square root of the quantity of the quantity 2 pi and for the standard deviation okay the two points uh, 1 over the quantity sigma square root of the quantity 2 pi e The equation of the curve is defined by equation 2. And uh, it contains the, the values of uh, the mean value, x bar, and uh, the standard deviation, sigma. Integration of equation 2 gives the area under the curve and is simplified as equation 3. Using the equations of y from uh, equations 2 and 3, the standard division can be computed as well. 
the deviation is calculable using equation 4 showing the symmetric nature of the deviation about the mean the gaussian is also referred to as the bell-shaped curve and has probabilities of measuring man, uh, measurements uh, identical about the mean uh, the ordinate or maximum probability meaning most likely to occur is computed by uh, y max uh, equals one over the quantity sigma the square root of the quantity 2 pi which we have already shown a while ago the abscissa where the uh, curve inflex uh, is uh, r x bar plus or minus sigma uh, equation 2 is the generic equation of the Gaussian distribution where the center x may not be equal to the mean. Equation 5 is the uh, equation 5 is when the x is equal to the uh, mean x bar. Uh, some properties of AB materials actually follow the same behavior of that of size. The Gaussian distribution applies to tensile and compressive strengths and shear resistance. Other quantities which are motion related follow the log normal uh, distribution or some other empirical equations. Uh, empirical equations are derived from experiments and follow the format of equation 1. The experiments usually are used to compute for the coefficients of the empirical equation. Uh, equation 8 is the probability of a certain measurement x sub i and its chances to be within the interval a and b in the uh, curve. We will not deal with the exact integration of quantities in the discussion as the uh, quantity e raised to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared and similar quantities herein are not integrable by classical mathematics. Uh, they are usually determined by approximation or computational means. Uh, the probability equation in equation 9 is shown also for appreciation. Uh, this is achieved by uh, integration by substitution, which you have already had from your, at least from your uh, integration and first order uh, differential equations. Besides the Gaussian or the normal distribution, there is the log normal, as we have said, log normal distribution. The difference between the two is that when uh, you graph the logarithmic function of values for a log normal distribution, it follows a normal distribution. But uh, in a regular, uh, yeah, well, without the uh, logarith without uh, taking the logarithmic of that function, it just is uh, not following the normal distribution. Traditionally, a logarithmic paper is used to plot these kinds of uh, functions. The setup equation of the log normal distribution curve is uh, n of x, okay, it's as shown, where n is the number of particles in the aggregate or the bulk uh, materials, bulk of materials, and we have here the sigma, still the standard uh, deviation. The individual weight is given by S of x. Okay, we will simplify this further because, again, this is not a uh, mathematics class. So we just show you this for you to appreciate it. And we simplify it. So it becomes... Okay, S, uh, N, okay, S is equals N, gamma, X, E raised to the negative 3, multiplied by the quantity E, raised to the quantity 9, sigma squared, over 2. Uh, then we have, uh, well, the proportion by weight of particles that falls within the interval X and X plus delta x, we can express it to be a distri density distribution function by weight in the form of q sub x delta x. 
and with integration of that uh, equation we have q of x okay in equation 11 and we get the mean uh, x bar and the division sigma with uh, equations 12 and 13. Uh, these are further uh, de determined with the intermediary variables m1 and m2 which are uh, functions of the p sub i or the relative quantity of material. We have m1 okay uh, the summation of x sub i times p sub i and m2 is expressed in uh, x sub i squared multiplied by the p sub i we have to sum sum that up okay uh, we have already given an introduction to imperial equations a while back uh, in the case of particulate ab, AB materials uh, two empirical equations are commonly used. These are the rosin rambler bennett model and the gates godin schumann model. These are rather straightforward equations being empirical. We simply plug in the values needed. For the rosin rambler bennett model, the grain size is needed. X sub O is the characteristic grain size for which uh, sieve residue is 36.8%. The rosin rambler, uh, rambler bennett model is typically used to predict the percent attained in a sieve. Okay, uh, we have we are uh, showing that in the screen. Okay, so that is uh, the, the lower right portion. That is a set of sieves to filter out or the to sift out the uh, particulate matter according to size. The the other method the gs method okay predicts the cumulative percent passing distribution okay the values of k and m can be determined by the linear regression log y equals m log x plus k So in the next lecture, we are going to uh, apply the use of the Gaussian distribution to a problem involving a sieve uh, analysis. I will uh, see you by then.